Hello folks, 1.21 content drought is over at long last. Just the other day we got a pretty big snapshot with things like the mace, breeze rods, two new armor trims, and more. And this brought 1.21 a whole lot closer to being at the point of progress that 1.20 was in development last year. But even still it has quite a bit of catching up to do. Now, with us getting so close to the end of development for 1.21, it's time to ask, does this save the update? With this development schedule that Mojang introduced last year for 1.20, or Trails and Tales, we haven't really been able to tell whether or not an update will be good until March or April pretty close to its release once we've basically seen all of the features that will be in the update. And now it's the second half of March, so it's kind of around that time to be determining whether or not this will be a successful update. So let's get into that. To kick things off, we're going to start with the features that we've received for 1.21 in the forms of snapshots, betas, or previews. And there's a decently long list at this point. To list the major ones we have, the trial chambers, the new copper blocks, the new tough blocks, the crafter, the breeze, the trial spawners, the trial key and the vault, the wind charge, the bogged, the mace, and also in addition to that the new armor trims, pottery shirts, and banner patterns. Oh, and also the Breeze Rods and the Heavy Core. So, like I said, a decently long list. But really, for an entire Minecraft update, that's actually not much. That being said, even though this is around the time last year that we stopped getting new content for 1.20, we could still be seeing some new things for 1.21. In fact, it's highly likely that we'll at least be seeing new enchantments for the mace. But other than that, at this point, we really can't tell how much Mojang still has up their sleeve for this update. That latest snapshot this week could have been it. Or maybe there's still a lot more. We really don't know is the point. But I want to talk about what we have right now. And what we have right now really isn't enough to compete with a lot of people's favorite Minecraft updates. Currently, this update doesn't even come close to the Nether update or Village and Pillage. In fact, this update's still very far behind even Trails and Tales. And, of course, that update was pretty widely hated by the community. But this latest snapshot was a pretty big step forward, and certainly a step in the right direction with the mace. This is a combat update, we should be getting new weapons, obviously. And it actually used to be pretty typical for there to be a new weapon with Minecraft updates. The Trident, an update Aquatic, the Crossbow, and Village and Pillage, and the new Netherite tools and gear in the Nether update. And then all of that just kind of died off with caves and cliffs. But I do like what we have so far. It just still isn't quite enough for the yearly major Minecraft update, though. And that's kind of concerning at this point, this late in the development of the update. So there are good things in this update. I love the mace. I love the trial chambers. I think they're great additions to the game. I mean, let's face it, so far this entire update is basically just the trial chambers and content to go along with that. And the crafter. I kind of forget about the crafter a lot, to be honest. So anyway, with all of that, is Minecraft 1.21 saved now? The answer is partly a matter of personal opinion. The answer, for me anyway, is sadly not yet. But it is a lot closer to being saved now. And hopefully in the time of about a week or two, I will be saying that the update is saved. Hopefully there's more in store for this update than just some enchantments for the mace. But at the end of the day, 
we have no idea. And that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, maybe consider liking and subscribing. It helps me a lot. We're on the road to 100 subscribers, and we're getting pretty close now. But anyway, goodbye.